So Wes feels like I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I know you woke up on the right side. I think you're just pissed off that Instagram stole, stole Snapchat. Yeah, I am. I'm kind of frustrated about the whole Instagram Snapchat situation. It's overwhelming. It's too much. And I follow different people on Instagram to Snapchat. And all my Snapchat people are going to get off of Snapchat because Instagram does it. And then I'm going to have to unfollow like half the people on Instagram because I don't want to see their stuff. First. But I want to see their pictures first world problem it really is a first world problem but I'm also hungry and I think that's part of the problem today we are flipping the Airbnb and trying to get it a little bit more styled and make it look a little cuter than it does now and uh, yeah that's the plan back at Lowe's to try to find a plant that hopefully I won't kill I wonder if I can keep a palm tree alive. I don't know if this is the best spot for me to be because I know nothing about plants. And I need somebody that's gonna educate me. So, yeah, I may have to go somewhere else. Sing that song again. Turning heat waves into motion. It's like I'm a simple something. Da, 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 da. How do heat waves get turned into motion? I don't know, most songs don't make, don't make sense anyway. What if it was turning big waves into motion? <laughs> turning big waves into motion. Now that makes more sense. <laughs> yeah. Baby, I just sing. Heat waves. <laughs> All right, it is 12.30. We have to get this done before we get childcare, or we don't have childcare anymore. My job? Hang the TV, mount the bookcase to the wall. Chase the front door. Put in a automated door lock and finish hanging a picture, I think. So we'll see if we can do this. It's a big TV. And uh, we're gonna hang it right there. All right. What are you doing? Making the bed. That's it. They may be taking a nap in it. I like childcare. I'm resting. I don't know. Everything else. Everything else. You gotta finish that sandwich. Pizza chef. Wes just told me to stop talking to him because he needed to concentrate. I did not say to stop talking. <laughs> First, he put headphones on. Like he didn't want to talk to me. And I said, are you not gonna to talk to me? And he goes, I need to concentrate. No, you can't, you keep interrupting. Like I have to like read the direction to make sure I'm doing stuff right. And if I keep being interrupted, I won't be able to get it done. I'm not cherished. Yes, you are. The aftermath. But it's I, done. It's bothering me that it's a different color. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna have to make these match. But that's pretty awesome. Handyman. So a lot of the furniture that's gonna be in the Airbnb is actually old office furniture or even furniture that was from a store. So currently cleaning out this desk that was um, a desk that we used in my office and came across these pictures. I love them so much. These are done in Maine, the first trip that we took there. And gosh, if you have not been to Maine, go to Maine. Aren't these perfect for the Airbnb? I love this so much. One of my favorite parts of the South. This doesn't rain like this in Portland, which is the only other place that we would live. This is awesome. And six 
Yes. Well. And success. One of the bad things that we do is we start a project and then we're like, okay, it's time to go. We really need to leave. We have to do this and this and this. And then one of us starts another project. We're like, okay, no, we really have to go. And then another project and we can't go away. Because we know we have a million projects to do. So, Wes just wired extension cords into the bed. Wes, are we officially leaving? Well, I need some bulbs, but yeah, we can go. Yeah, we'll see. All I'm saying is you just started a new project. <laughs> you were getting your keys together. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I was putting shoes on Walter. I didn't start another project. I was just working on the one you were doing. Exactly. Okay, let's go. We're back here again. Right, Walter? We're getting used to this place. As we always do when we do something. I was feeling shy in front of the camera. Okay, we're done. Final trip. Kids are getting tired. Oliver, are you tired? No. No, I'm not tired. Hi. Uh, all right, we're headed to finish up tonight and then be ready by tomorrow. It's gonna get cleaned. Let's see what happens. I didn't make it. It's like a game. That was almost embarrassing. Kids are asleep, and now it's time to get busy, get stuff done, and get to bed at some point. shower yesterday either. But I really thought I was gonna get to shower today. There's a shower in here? No. And I want some Oreos. And I want to watch Bachelor in Paradise. Hey I put your uh you can watch Bachelor in Paradise right there. No. And you have a Twix bar. I already ate my Twix bar. <laughs> Puppy. If you made it this far into the vlog today, you're in luck because we have another life hack. Easiest way to hang your curtains even is to get a piece of cardboard, measure it out, put a hole there. And then you put your little thing and you measure it to that hole. And we'll show you step two. Oh, did you already do this thing? Uh -huh. We gotta show it. This is the life hack. Okay, and then what's awesome about how you make them even is you take that same piece of cardboard. On this side? Yep. You swoop it over, and now it's the same distance from the corner. Now you got even curtains. Boom! Boom. Update it's now 11 o'clock, but the uh, Curtain. curtains are all hung. Got some more stuff on the walls. Um, still got a long way to go, but towels are folded, and uh, we're making progress. Haven't even started editing this yet. This may be another uh, Argo moment. But Bachelor in Paradise is heating up very nicely. So I'm really not complaining. Not quite midnight. We're still rolling. These are gonna be white. Eventually. This is gonna be white. I want this to be white. Yeah. This is white. I have very white. <laughs> and then I like blow out just into. <laughs> <laughs> Usually I do. All right, so this is one more uh, snapshot into what it looks like to uh, run a business. Because if you decide to run an Airbnb, it is a business. And it does take a lot of work. Way more work than you think that it would. But it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. You put a lot of money into it. Hopefully it'll be worth it. And 
Florence is an awesome city. It really is. So if you haven't been or want to come, we would love to host you. I know that's a sales pitch, and I should be a sales pitch on here, but. For $99, come on down to Florence, Alabama, and you can buy yourself room for a night. And some snacks. Yeah, we do have snacks. <laughs> I'm all about the snacks. Yeah, we've eaten a lot of those. We have, I have to buy more. <laughs>